Punta kami ngayon sa aquarium. Dadalhin namin kayo sa aquarium. Hi baby! Para sa iyo to, para next time di mo mamiss ang mga ginagawa namin habang nan nasa belly ka ni mami. Pasok kami sa parke. Itong parking lot nila. Ayan, binigay ni manager ang kanyang Okay, may access kami ng parkingan. Sa parkingan. Dahil manager yung sisterendo ko dito sa aquarium. Thanks, Ate Shea. Ang ganda ng flowers nila. Ayan, guys. Para na rin kayo nakapunta dito sa Long Beach Pacific Aquarium. Ganda, oh. Tara. Ngayon si baby oh, 7 months. Hi baby, malapit na. 2 more months baby. Ayun siya yung indoor niya. Theater daw yan sabi ng ano sister in law ko. Pero dahil makakapasok diyan dahil nga Nililimit, nililimit lang nila yung mga tao ngayon dahil sa COVID-19 yan see uh, maintain social distancing siyempre ayos lang yan para sa protection din natin yan mas mainam na yung safe di ba Tiket mo, baby. Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Temperature check. Daming dinadaanan. Hello. Go and scan your tickets, go and do the scanner, then you can drop them off right here, guys. And call your pathway to your right and have a great day. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Don't call me, No. No, no. I'm just going to go. Don't let me know. Yay! Yay! natin si baby sexy man pero meron pa silang sanitizer dito picture daw si my love sa aquarium jack lang Yan, sapa. One, two, and three. Sapa. Hindi na kukuha yung ano. Okay, baby. One, two, and three. Thank you. Init. Yung meron dyan. Hindi water sa loob. Hindi water yan. Oh, walang water. Wala. <laughs> ano yan yung parang insekto yata sa loob or something. Or plant. Oh, meron nga baby. Ayun o, oh, yung antawag sa atin yan. Ayun o. Oh. 
Sa sambal ano yan, yung tawag doon yung banso suwak. Banso suwak? Nakakain ba yan? Hindi ah. Marami sa amin yan sa liglig na sa ano, tawag doon. Sa gilid ng ano, ayun oh, ayun. <laughs> ayun. Ayun. Hindi na hindi masyadong nakikita at may reflection eh. Dibe dito kaharangan mo. Yan sila oh. Ayun. Diyan ka. Diyan, diyan ka. Yo no. Oh. Tawag diyan sa ano na marami yan sa ano eh. Sa gilid ng ano, tubig alat sa amin, sa sambales. Ayun. Galing oh. Yo, I'm seeing sexy mommy. No, I don't get you. Things regular, especially after contact with people who surface it. Looking good, Seymour. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, no, Jan, guys, pwede kang bumili ng snacks. O, ngayon, kung may mga stroller ka, dala mo yung baby mo. Next time, may stroller na kami. Liwan mo lang dyan. Ito ang kalooban ng aquarium. Hmm, squid. Yun o. Ang haba ng ano yan <laughs> Look mm. <laughs> Yan yeah, no? Ang tawag dyan guys is Shorebirds Ayan. Shorebirds. Ang haba ng legs. Ameri... Ay, mag-aaral. Ayan, ang dami, o. Hmm. Ang haba ng legs. Dabit. Hmm. Tilapia, guys, o. Tilapia. Saya nggak sih lah. Ini balut, ay mangan, dagang babus babus. Ito ang aquarium guys Ito yung isda Ayun o Ito nga no? Ah hindi pwede Hindi mo pwede sa akin Yan yung sinasabi na lang ano Ito naman Short stuff From the GT Shark Ito naman 
parang tarian sa <laughs> hey guys oh. Sama sila palagi Ay, ito malaki sa ibang klase Oo oh. Ayan, oh, laki Ito sila ayan sa kung anong nandiyan niya ano. Looking at a horseshoe crab, it's basically looking like into a fossil. 
they have not changed whatsoever because their armor layer protects them from all Maybe. A really cool fun fact about their armor layer is they have around nine eyes. This is also why they are more related to spiders. They have their two front eyes, which are more similar to our human eyes where they can see shape and color. And they have a couple different eyes all around their shell that help them see UV light, um, shadows, and where the suns are, the sun and the moon. Hey, they need these special UV eyes to determine where the sun oh. is and what position it's at so they know when it's time for their breeding. They live in pretty deep waters, but during their breeding time, they yeah, love to go oh. up onto the shore and into marsh waters. No, Angela. Oh, there's no water. Hmm? Another really cool fun fact about horseshoe crabs is that their blood is blue. And not just like blue, blue. blue. No, like really, it's really blue. <laughs> it's blue because they have a copper-based blood instead of us who have an iron-based blood. This is why our blood is red. But horseshoe crab's blood is based off of copper, so their blood is blue. Now we all know now that horseshoe crabs have a really good protective armor and that is how they are able to survive. But nobody ever really talked about like oh, yeah, why have rays and sharks survived all these years? And most of the fishes, why haven't they all been killed off by each other? This is because all fishes have this really cool thing called counter shading. You can see the counter shading most predominantly no, on the cow nose rays when they flap their little wings up. Counter shading is basically on the top of them or their dorsal side. <laughs> they have a darker color. Harmless. But on their ventral or bottom side, they have a white counter shading. Counter shading is basically their armor layer. 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 Counter shading is then predators below them can't really identify them because they blend in with the skylight. All sharks and rays and mostly all fishes have this cool adaptation called countershading. No? Oh, I want you right here so when we go to another one, make sure we protect it. Now as some of you guys get it right behind their eyes and kind of looks like ears. It is not ears, it's just a pump instead of having the water go through their gills on their bottom or ventral side. All rays in motion adaptation which allows them to sit comfortably on the ocean floor or even eat from the bottom of the ocean. So see the spiracles on our zebra sharks right behind me at the Shark Lagoon viewing pool. I may remind that there's two ways you can view this pool. Over right here on the upper viewing area or on the bottom in the lower viewing area. The lower viewing area is great to take pictures and to get an in-water experience. And you can also take some really cute photos with Theo the sea turtle. He loves chilling out right by the glass. Where are we going? Then attention. So you might be seeing all of the zebra sharks laying down on the floor and see the reef sharks swimming about. This is because reef sharks and most sharks in the ocean are what we like to call sharks ahead. Ram ventilators. Ram ventilators is just a fancy word for saying Attention, sharks ahead. Woo! Oh, ten more baby Now for anybody just joining us, hi, my name is Layla. And you guys are more than welcome to touch the rays and our bamboo shark and epilogue shark.
shirt, but they just hold two fingertips right along their back. Okay, na mo guys. Ang information niya. Now, you guys might be over there by the pool, by the bathroom shark, and the epilogue shark. So you might notice that those sharks are very, very small. Well, let's bust the myths that most sharks are Bet. huge. Bet. Another fact check for you guys. Around 85% of the sharks all around the world are around smaller than 5 feet long.